welcome back to the channel uh, Metal Marty Mac back with another video guys uh, I'm off for a few days from work guys I'm just sitting about the house twiddling my thumbs listening to the music don't know what to do don't know what to listen to so much stuff big inbox but I just said um, I'd use my Discogs uh, randomizer to pick an album and uh, I remember months back there uh, last year doing uh, like a tread for this so um, I haven't done one since I know uh, Dave Caverns has done a good few of them and they've uh, been really good in that but uh, yeah, this is a great way of uh, just getting stuff off your shelves. You haven't seen uh, stuff in a while and there's a good few albums here. So I've picked out 10 records. I just did albums, vinyls, just because it's easier to show than CDs. And uh, yeah, so this is I'm going to listen to this stuff today now that I have it off the shelf. There's a few things I haven't listened to in a while on it. So I'm looking forward to spinning them. So this, just the randomizer on Discogs app is just a great way of picking stuff. If you can't decide what to listen to. So uh, yeah, so just uh, as I say, I'm off for a few days. So just... Uh, just going to do a few videos this week, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to do a Lost Realms, uh, the record label Lost Realms. Uh, yeah, that's name, yeah, video before the end of the week as well, hopefully. We've got a few records from them, and it's all cool stuff as well. Some kind of rare rare heavy metal releases from them. It's brilliant. So, um, yeah. Okay, let's get into this straight away. Enough waffle. So, if I picked 10 albums, as I said. I'm going to listen to these all now between today and tomorrow, hopefully. So the first one out of this cogs is a death metal album. So this is a Chrysian. This is Forged in Fury. I would say Forged in Fire. So this is the ninth album from the Brazilian death metal band from um, from Brazil. Uh, I'd be more familiar with their older stuff, but uh, yeah, nonetheless, a fucking great band. Killer stuff, actually. Very powerful. Nice bit of artwork on that there as well. So yeah, so that's the first pick. So uh, yeah, looking forward to checking that one out today. <clears throat> As I said, with all these albums, I'm looking forward to giving them a spin. Now, this one here I picked out next. <clears throat> We're uh, listening to it in the background, actually, by the way. You won't hear it, probably, because it's really low. But uh, love the album. It's their fifth studio album. These guys are Canadian heavy metal band, and it's just, just really good. If you're into Haunt or all that sort of new wave of tradition heavy metal, they sound very, very much like Haunt to me now. Uh, you get into them have the t-shirt on and bought the t-shirt i like the album that much so yeah so there's your band there so the band in question is cauldron and the album is uh, new gods new gods yeah new gods sorry uh, it's out on back and black i think that crazy album was out and listen to the records but uh yeah great great traditional new wave of traditional heavy metal band from uh from canada i think they're a tree piece but yeah there they are yeah i see them on the back here but yeah this is this is a really good album Prisons of the Past, Letting Go, I think it's on at the moment. Yeah, Letting Go. I have it on the TV, just the vinyl is still in this. But uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out, I was meant to check out some Black Fire. I was meant to check out more of this band stuff. And uh, I'd forgotten all about them. And I just I seen the, the fucking um, album when it came up there. I went like, God, yeah, forgot about that band. So I listened to the album there, and it's really, really good. I'll check to see if we can get any more of their gear. But uh, yeah, Cauldron from Canada. Good, uh, good new wave of tradition heavy metal band. <clears throat> okay, up next popped up. Um, oh, I love this. This was in my top you know, at the end of the year list last year, I believe. For the last couple of years, they've been in. So this is a band that's coming to Dublin. They're coming to play, play with Gate Creeper and Two Thousand Stab Wounds, Two Hundred Stab Wounds even. <clears throat> and uh, Jesus, I'm gonna do my best to get to it. So this is a trash, absolutely killer trash album from last year. So this is a uh, enforced uh, war remains. This is just a banger. If you still haven't heard this, God, you need to get onto it if you're into trash. There's a bit of a kind of hardcore edge. Absolutely stunning, stunning record. Very short, 33 minutes or so, but uh, worth every minute of it, man. This is a this is good shit. This is a really killer album. So yeah, looking forward to respinning that. Could be a month or two before. Okay, from 1987, we got a compilation. A compilation by UK uh, Hard Rock, Arena Rock, maybe a touch of heavy metal and the older stuff. But uh, nonetheless, one of my favourite UK bands, this is uh, Magnum, and this is uh, the compilation Mirador. This is a fantastic compilation. I had this back on cassette back in the day when we on your box. Uh, this is out on uh, FM Coast to Coast Records, and this sounds amazing. I'm really looking forward to spinning this. It's got that fucking awesome Rodney, Rodney Matthews art. Is that Rodney Matthews? I'm going to say it is, and yeah, if I'm wrong, you can tell me, of course, which you will. But uh, this is Full of classics, just like an arrow, Soldier of the Line, Changes, Sacred Arrow, Great Adventure, How Far Jerusalem, The Spirit, The Word, The Prize, and Kingdom of Madness. I think this compilation actually might have been my, my introduction to Magnum back in the day, but wow, what a great compilation. 
I think I'm going to spin this first out of these these ten records. But uh, yes, let me know what you're listening to at the moment. It's very hard to pick when you have a big collection and new stuff coming in. It's very hard to know what to listen to, guys, isn't it? So next up, album number five or halfway there. This is great. So this is the debut album. This came out in just looking down. So I can't remember the year. 2012. This is at one of the super groups, uh, progressive rock, progressive metal super groups that Mike Mike Portnoy is in. He's in hundreds of them. Good to see that he's back in DT though. Um, so this is Flying Colors. Uh, can't remember how I discovered this band. <clears throat> it was either on YouTube or it was on fucking Scuzz TV or some of that shit like that. But anyway, yeah. So this is progressive, progressive rock, hard rock, with a. Uh, Touches of metal and some good heavy guitars in some places, but you've got uh, Mike Portnoy, you've got uh, Neil Morris, you've got Steve Morris who used to be in Deep Purple, you've got uh, Dave LaRue from Marillion, uh, Casey, Casey, I keep calling him Casey Affleck, Casey somebody, can't remember his name, I'm not pulling out all the shit, uh, and of course Mike Portnoy uh, and Neil Morris, are funny. but it's a really, really good, good rock, rock band, uh, some great melodies, the vocals, Casey... Yeah, it's Casey, and he has something. Casey McPherson, that's his name. Jesus. But, uh, yeah, I have the, all the three uh, the three studio albums of Flying Cars, and I have their uh, live DVD as well. Didn't buy the live record. Probably will at some stage. But uh, great songs on this, like Blue Ocean, Shoulda, Woulda, Coulda, Kayla, The Storm, Forever the Days, Everything Changes. Actually, excellent stuff. My part, I do some vocals on this as well, and it's really, really good. <laughs> Okay, we're on to part two. Thank God, says you. Oh, sorry about the slobbering there. Uh, sixth album by Finnish uh, Power Metal, Symphonic Power Metal Band. Uh, the new album out, I think it might be just out. I uh, haven't picked it up yet, but I will because I have the complete discography. Well, I lied. I have one album I still need to get on vinyl. Uh, Stones Grows. Grows her name. Grow her name. Grows her name. I have it on CD, but I want it on vinyl and then... I'll be complete once I get the new album. But there, the sixth album by uh, Sonata Artica. Absolutely amazing band. I just love this band. The first five, six albums are just flawless as far as I'm concerned. I had one or two dodgy ones after that. This this is this is a good album, but they, they went a bit downhill after this. They got a bit too soft. But now, apparently, from what I heard of the new album, they're back to their power metal roots. And it sounds really good. Looking forward to it. But this is the Days of Greys. Limited edition vinyl, but I don't know what the fuck's limited about it, but uh, yeah, because it's just uh, it's a standard black vinyl. This is Nuclear Blast release, yeah. So it's some great songs on this day. Flag in the Ground, uh, Everything Fades the Instrumental at the Start. Let me think what else. Juliet's on this. Uh, as If the World Wasn't Ending, I love that one. The, uh, the Last Amazing Grays is a great song as well. The title track, uh, well, close enough to the title track. Okay, next up. This is going on longer than I hope. Sorry about that. But you do tend to waffle when you're taking stuff out. Okay, up next, number seven. Now, this is one I, I featured on a trash update maybe a month or two ago. I picked this up on a local record store. Well, local as in Letterkenny and Donegal. So, from 1990, the debut album from a UK trash band, Reanimator. Great album, great band. Excellent stuff. Just great. Uh, Late 80s, early 90s uh, trash metal from the UK. Uh, yeah, what can you say? Savage stuff. Really good band. Delighted to pick that up, that OG. Uh, okay, up next. One of my favourite bands. I keep saying that, but these are definitely one of my favourite bands. One of my top bands. Not just about... Not finished up their uh, collection yet on vinyl, but I have a good, good stab at it. So this is their fourth album from 1989. This is Candlemas, uh, sorry, from Sweden, Tales of Creation. Uh, very cool cover. I love the cover of that. I'm not religious or anything, but I just, I just like the colors and that. In it. But yeah, classic, classic Candlemas with Messiah, Dark Reflection, Voice in the Wind, Under the Oak, Tears, Into the Unfathomed Tower, the instrumental is just banging. Uh, Dawn, The Tale of Creation, Through the Infinite what, Halls of Death. Stomper. If you know it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Quality, quality, epic death, uh, doom metal. I was going to say death metal. There you go. Excellent. Two more to go. Next one, the debut album from 1994. This is the only album I have. I'll show it to you. This is the only album I have by this band. And it's the only album I really want to. I'm not really into their stuff after this. I've heard some of it and 
just didn't catch, but this album is a beast. Sorry, Sean, but this is a beast. Uh, so this is uh, Machine Head, Burn My Eyes. Uh, what's his name? Rob. I can't remember the flipper's name. Rob Flynn. Yeah, what a what a fantastic album. This is double vinyl. This sounds amazing. This is out in Roadrunner Records. Uh, this this was reissued um, yeah, a while back, a couple of years back now. But Jesus, it's solid. Great album. I think it's an orange vinyl. It's been that long since I spun it, so... Another reason to have it off the shelf now I can spin it. But uh, yeah, Davidian, uh, Old, Thousand Eyes, None But My Own. Jeez, the, like the first, the first fucking side on this is just incredible. But yeah, great album. Burn My Eyes by Machine Head. And the very last album is a 2022 album. The sixth album by another UK trash band. Now, um, I like this album. I, I, I just, I, you know... I can't really remember it too well, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy spinning it today. I know I did like it when I last listened to it. Uh, I think I listened to it a few times. I think I liked it better than the one before it, which I can't remember, but yeah, yeah. Nonetheless, amazing artwork once again. Zentrix, class. Oh, this is Zentrix, sorry. Seven words. This band is fucking brilliant. I love Zentrix. Always have done from, from Shattered. I've always been a big fan. Got a patch on my battle vest, even a big patch. But uh, yeah, great album out and listen to the records. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to spinning this today again. So that is it guys. Hope I didn't bore you for too long. But uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've done the randomizer tread. Uh, so yeah, it's good fun to do it. And it just gives me gives me something to listen to today as if I needed something. But you know what I mean? At least I've got 10 albums to concentrate on between today and tomorrow. And um, yeah, that's it guys. Cheers for tuning in. Thanks everybody for watching and commenting and subbing got one or two extra subs now in the last few weeks as well which is fantastic uh and um that's it guys uh hope you have a good uh, week it's monday today so just as i say i'm just fluting about and just going to listen to some music but uh yeah lost lost realms records looking forward to do that one there because there's some cool records in that i need to re-listen to them again but it's, some, it's quality uh, record level it's new to me but it's brilliant so that's it guys love you and leave you uh, cheers thanks for watching and i'll talk to you all soon good luck